to the Tipperary Sports Podcast. It's our All-Star Nominees Podcast. And joining me is Geraldine Canan, the PRO of Tipperary Camogie. So very welcome, Geraldine. Thanks, Joe. So, so there's two teams, the senior and intermediate team, and then there's a junior team from all the junior A, junior B, junior B2, and junior C. And also we'll have a recap of the championship. It's, it's not, that's why we just get straight into it, I suppose, and start with the senior and intermediate nominations. We start with the goalkeeper, I suppose, and this year the nominees for goalkeepers are Kelly Healy, Boris Lee, Max Friday, Bo Lahan, and Anya Slattery of Shannon Rovers. Yeah, so three very good nominees there, um, Joe. I suppose Kelly Healy is her second year, only her second year in goals for Bursley. Um, she had a great year last year when they won the Intermediate Championship. And, you know, Bursley will be very pleased with their year this year, getting to a county uh, senior semi final in their first year up. And I think Kelly played a big part in that, especially you're looking back at the quarter final against Birds to Hara. There's nothing between the two teams, and she pulled off some, some crucial saves. Um, I suppose Mike's Friday then. Uh, a key player for Borderland, one of Borderland's best players this year. You know, very reliable in the goals there. Uh, they reached the county intermediate semi final, and uh, Mags deserved of getting an All Star nominee. Uh, and then Anya Slattery, I suppose Shannon Rovers were on fire this year in the intermediate championship. Uh, finally got over the, the line and, and won a county final. And um, uh, Anya kept a serious amount of clean sheets all year. I think her, along with Julie Brennan, they would have had the best defence, I suppose, of the Intermediate Championship. And then I suppose we probably don't give enough credit for her puckouts, huge, massive puckouts uh, and clearances that uh, were a huge benefit for for Shannon Rovers this year. So three excellent nominees, uh, three or three goalkeepers. Yeah, definitely, for sure. And I was going to the full back right now. And first up, we have Julie Brennan and Shannon Rovers, then Ian McCattle, Joe Inch, Kate Hayes, Monigal. Neve McGrath, Boris Lee, Aoife Burke, Scanarty Rossmore, and Christina Brennan and Drummond Inch. Some great nominations in here anyway, no doubt. Yeah, definitely. I suppose with the two drum girls, I suppose Christina Brennan and Eamre Cahill, you know, they were excellent all year. Drummond Inch, I thought, defensive unit was excellent all year. Um, you know, if you look back at the semi-final against Tordes Arsis and the final against Colonti, they didn't concede any goal. And I thought Christina and, and uh, Eamre, especially the big part to play in that, um, you know, I think they got the better of, of everyone they marked really this year. Uh, Neve McGrath then really highly regarded player in Boris Lee again a top class uh, man marker I suppose and um, has had a couple of really good seasons with Boris Lee as you know as they rose back up to senior uh, championship so v- three very good nominees there Casey Hayes then you know one, one of Money Gall's star players this year corner back um, again Money Gall had a great year first year up uh, intermediate and got straight to a county final and Casey I suppose had a big part to play uh, in that, so um, you know, very deserving of her nominee. Aoife Burke, yeah, close to Rossmore, yeah. So Aoife, again, um, yeah, excellent. Obviously, Clonoti reached the county final again. Aoife was uh, very good at full back, uh, f- very strong player there all year, dead to the square, and uh, a key player. And I suppose, um, you know, a big task playing full back for Clonoti, and I thought she she stuck to that task very well all year this year. Yeah. And now we we want to the halfback line now. And the nominations here are Emma Carey, Carla Sarsfields, Mary Ryan, Moneygall, Mairead Everson, Germany, Julie Ann Burke, Boris Lee, Emer Luckman, Clonauti, and Sarah Delaney Borlahan. I just want to actually say that Julie Ann Burke definitely deserved one. I thought she had a great semi final actually when she went on to tight the van and kept it quite enough because in the semi final, I remember Kate looks like she was going to do a lot of damage at the start, but when they moved Julianne onto her, she showed up. She'd done a great job on her for most of the rest of the game anyway, and kept it yeah, quite definitely. enough. Yeah, I have to agree with you there. And probably Bursley, probably looking back, probably should have started Julianne on caught the van. Um, again, she's she's our key player there in defence. Um, like that played played mainly centre back, but if needed, she was able to go back and pick up anyone. And you know, another great year for Julianne, continuing on her good form from the county season. I think Emer Lukeman really was a standout player for me as well for Clonanty. I thought in the county final, especially in the second half, she drove forward and I thought led the the comeback really for Clonanty. Um, but an excellent wing back, Marie Deviston, then a real leader for Drummond Inch at centre back. Um, on and off the field, you know, t- top class player. And um, you know, had a massive uh, county final and winning player of the match in the county final. Um, so look, really good nominees there. Sarah Delaney, then Borland against Borland standout player this year. Um, 
you know, and I, I, I think she's gone in with tip seniors this year. Hopefully she is because I think she's a really good player and has a lot to offer. Same with Emma Carey. Um, Torres Arces had a, a brilliant year. Um, they only lost two games. I was the drum in, in the in the, the group stages and the semi final, so that's how close they were to a county final. And um, you know, Emma was a standout player for me in defence there at centre back. Was excellent, very strong, and um, you know, a really good player there. And I suppose allowed like Sir Karen Kendi to push up the field as well when you have a top class centre back in, in Emma. Yeah, definitely. And I suppose midfield now and. You've noticed six nominations there. We have first up Sling Guy and Shannon Rovers, then Karen Kennedy, Turla Sarsfields, Edwina King of Monegal, Eve McGrath, John Inch, Saoirse McGrath, Newport, and Quiva Matter of Burgess Dora. So, not a great six players there again. Yeah, I suppose, Joe, we don't need to say too much about Karen Kennedy. Um, I think she's probably Tipperary's best Camogie player at the moment. I'm sure you saw her plenty of times. I'm sure you're impressed. And I know she picked up a hat trick there in one of the games from midfield. I think it was against Burgess yeah. O'Hara. Like she was midfield for 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 uh Torres Sarsis, but she was probably also one of their top scorers. Joe, you know, a really class player. I'm sure you'd agree. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'm going to judge you by the folk and from the county final, everyone that was on the clear profiles, you have were looking for her if there was a transfer system in. So she probably rated as well among her peers anyway in the county as well. So Definitely. Yeah, even when we interview players as well, they all answered Karen as the same question as well, looking for yeah. her transfer. But uh, yeah, she's a, a huge player for for Turner Sarsfields. Celine Guyne and then I think had a brilliant year with uh, Shannon Rovers out in the middle of the field. Um, I think it really suited her this year. And I think she definitely was on the most possessions for Shannon Rovers this year. Um, Edwina King then, a big game, a big year for her with Money Gall. Um, she's a live wire there in the middle of the field with Money Gall, covers huge ground up and down the field and she slots in centre-back as well when Mary Ryan pushes in, so a very key player. Aoife McGrath, um, you know, one of Drum's best players again this year. Um, midfield, really suited her this year, out from the half-back line. I think she relished the challenge in the middle of the field and she was great to come forward as well and get a couple of scores. Um, so very, very important player. And Sears McGrath then with Newport. Newport got to a county semi final this year, their intermediates, and I'd Sears McGrath was their best player and I think deserving an, an all star nominee. Likewise, Quiva Maher from Birds to Hara. You know, Birds to Hara were there, thereabouts all year, were a tough opposition for anyone they played against. Um, had a great quarter final against Boris Lee, and I think Quiva Maher was their best player uh, this year in the middle of the field. Yeah, and now we move on to the half forward line. And then, once again, six more great players in here as well. First up, we have Lucy Purcell, Turla Sarsfields. We also have Nicole Walsh, Boris Lee, Courtney Ryan, Clanauti Ross Moore, Mary Burke, Drummond Inch, Emer Heffernan, Nock Villa, Donishki, Kickhams, and Andrea Lucknan of Turla Sarsfields. Yeah, so very a very uh, competitive half forward line. I know the selection committee had the work cut out. Um, uh, deciding on six nominees, Nicole Walsh, I suppose, for Bursley again had a you know, I think she scored 11 points out of 113 in the quarter final. Um, her, you know, her freeze were massive that night in, in Bursley to beat Burst to Hara. Um, you know, in the sec second half against Clonty in the county semi final, I thought she really impressed as well and led the charges there. And you know, I suppose again, we probably take her for granted her free taking, but you know, that there's no easy job step up under pressure and score freeze. And so well, she did that all year for, for Bursley, was mainly a centre back, but came out around middle of the field as well, or centre forward, but came out around middle of the field as well. Uh, was very good. Emer Heffern, I suppose, I think just acknowledging the good year that Nakavilla had. Um, you know, they had some some good big results, I suppose. Uh, against Cashel and then Carty this year that got him into a quarter final and you know Emer was key to that and uh, she got all their scores against Drummond into the quarter final one three um you know was very effective all year again from play and from freeze um so uh, uh, a good nominee there Andrea Lachnan then I suppose she operated a lot in the, in the full forward line for Torres but was also out around the half forward line and uh, had a really good season for Torres you know a lot of the Torres players I thought had a great exceptional years and, and that's why they got to a county semi-final and did so well. So Andrew Lachnan was was another one of them. Um, Mary Burke for Drummond Inch then was moved into the half forward line this year. Um, she's a serious player to break the tackle and, and create goal chances. She got a, a goal against uh, uh, I think Turles in, in the quarter final or in the group stages and she popped up um, with a goal in the county final as well. So uh, a big player for Drummond got big scores all year. Courtney Ryan then again, Clonauti Ross Moore, I suppose Caught the Man is 
is the leading scorer for for Clonty, but you know she's well assisted with, with Courtney. Courtney does a lot of work on the half forward line, also breaking the tackle, getting in for some scores. So she had a very good year, I thought, for Clonty. And Lucy Purcell then had an excellent season with Turla Sarsfields, uh, a tip minor this year as well. Uh, in the county final, I suppose she was given her all back around the half back line, kind of a sweeper role, and I thought she performed very well and was a real live wire there for for Turles all year. Yeah, definitely. And anyway, now on to the full forward nominations. And we have first up Gillian, Gillian, sorry, McKenna overs, Dara Linan of Shannon overs, Ian McGrath, Jumman Inch, Kai Devan, Kenoki Rossmore, Priva Stakelum, Turles Sarsfields, and Eva Dwyer, Anna Carty. Yeah, good spread of, of, of players there and good, um, good spread of clubs as well. I suppose we have Gillian and Laura from uh, from uh, Shen Rovers, the Intermediate County Champions. You know, they've, they, I suppose Eve Malachny was another player there. The three of them were in the full forward line and they were really were on fire this year. Uh, Gillian scored uh, 4-2 from play against Tumi Vara in one of the group games. I think she averaged about two goals in every game. And I thought in the county final when she, when she switched out the field, uh, at the three-quarter stage, it made the big difference for Shan Rovers, and they pushed on to win that county final. Laura Lennon, again, excellent uh, all year. She averaged about 1-2 in every game. Uh, in the low-scoring final, I suppose she popped up and got two crucial points from play, so definitely worthy of all-star nominees. Ava Dwyer as well then, for Anna Carty, they got to the quarter final the senior championship, and you know she was their top top uh, forward all year from freeze and from play. I know she got two goals in the quarter final against Tarlis. She was their best forward by a mile and uh, she got seven points uh, against Cash as well in one of the group games. So a really good player for for um, Anna Carty this year. Uh, Ian McGrath then for Drummond Inch, I suppose she was Drummond Inch's best player, I thought, this year. Um, she was unmarkable there at times, really lively in the forwards, uh, came up with some big scores all year. Um, I think she scored a goal in every game, bar the county final and the championship. And in the county championship, I suppose, in the county final, she had a hand to play in both goals. Um, I know she scored 3-9 against Silver Mines in the group game. Do you know, she was excellent for Drummond Inch this year. And then caught the Vance, what can we say about Caught? Hasn't been said before. Do you know, she's she's Clonty's key player. Um, Excellent from freeze and from play, a real leader. In the semi-finals, where she got 13 points out of the 16. You know, I suppose without her, they wouldn't have, they would have, wouldn't have won that semi-final. So a massive player at Caught the Vance. And then Cueva State, yeah. a young player uh, on county under 16 this year, had a brilliant year for Turles Sarsfields. And, you know, in the semi final alone, uh, she scored 13 points out of 16, similar to Cots scoring. She got 10 frees and three from play. So a super return from her. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and that's the senior and intermediate lineup. And I thought the whole the club team, Bartoli with four nominations, Borla Handula had two, Shannon Roberts five. Drummond Inch, six. Canalti, got more of four. Monigala, three. Newport, Bell and Hinch, one. Burgess, Dora, one. Naka Villa, Dunashki, Kickens have one. Era Ogan, Akaki have one. And Turles Arfield have five. So, it's going to be a hard job when you're picking this one. Yeah. Look, anyway, it won't be an easy job for whoever we're doing it anyway, so. Yeah, you've 33 very good nominees there. And that has to be whittled down to 15, right. I suppose, over the next few weeks. Um, but look, it's great to see, like you said, great spread of scores. I suppose um, the county champions, uh, Shannon Rovers and Drummond Inch are, are well represented, but so are Turles and Clonanty and and Burris Lee, and you know there's a good spread of uh, clubs there. And uh, I thought it was another excellent senior intermediate championship. I thought we had some brilliant matches, and I suppose some brilliant individual performances. And it's nice to just to acknowledge that. I suppose at the end of the year. Yeah, uh, I was there. Uh, did you talk about the championship there? I'm I was at covering two semi finals, like in a senior, and like there's a neutral now. I have to admit, it's what I came about an hour after the top games when we had we were trying to get. Yeah, there were there were oh, two practices. Two practices like that. Really, you know. Yeah. And then the final wasn't too bad either. Like you know, both very good teams, committed teams, and the guys they're all like, and obviously look, from an inch once again got over the line, and, like you know, just there was. Just to have that spread of forward that was well, and the defence I thought was excellent at times, like got very little away. And then obviously Sanauti look did, lost another final, but did think the gap seems to be closed when they are not going to get five points us in this year. And even that, I thought with the two semi finalists like Turles were very unlucky not to beat Drummond Inch at and same with Boris Lee in their semi final. So I think it's making it's getting very it's very tight between all the top teams and it's 
should be a cracking championship then again next season as well. So I think the gap is closing there on German Inter. Well, the teams are getting bit closing the gap on them a bit. Yeah, I'd have to say, you know, like there was nothing in the in the two semi finals, and again, nothing in the final. I suppose Drum looked in control maybe in the first half, but a super comeback by Clonty and went right down to the wire. And I suppose in, in both games, Drum had their, their backs to the wall, but like you said, in the end, they just prevailed and uh, picked up their fifth county title. But uh, yeah, you'd be already looking forward to next year. You'd be looking forward to see Contorless build on, on this year's performance, can Burris Lee build on it as well. Um, and, you know, you have. Kickums and Anacarty, Cashel, you know, they're all there, thereabouts. So, yeah, the senior championship certainly was fierce, exciting this year. And I suppose the intermediate as well, with Shannon Rovers now will be up senior next year. So, they'll be an, an, a force to be reckoned with as well. And uh, and then we have the likes of McCarthy that'll be up intermediate. So, look, the intermediate championship is always fierce competitive. You just don't know from one year to the next. So, it'd be really interesting now with Shannon Rovers, I suppose, going out of it, uh, who, will, who will step up and, and, and win it next year. Yeah, definitely. If you look at it, their money goal is a bit unlucky here. It was their first year up in me, wasn't it? And, you know, so they'll obviously strong again next year. I think they'll get better experience will probably ask them. So, and you have Daniel Lights, obviously, Port Lehan and Newport, who well, we got the same final last year. So, you can get the Intermediate Championship. It always is a very tall, tall type championship, and there should be another one again next year. Yeah, certainly will be, I think. And, and, uh, like you said, Money Gall were missing a few key players this year through injury and things that they'll probably have back next year. And they have a lot of young players that uh, really impressed this year as well. Uh, a few unlucky, unlucky not to get nominations. But uh, yeah, definitely two good uh, senior intermediate championships. And um, so we're going to the junior All Star nominees now. So junior A, Junior B, Junior B, two, and Junior C. So we go start on that anyway. Obviously, we love to start with the goalkeepers for this one as well. And the three nominations for the goalkeepers are Megan Lonigan, Bally Bacon, Aoife Lonigan, Gartner Ho, and Sarah Thiessen, Holy Cross, Bally Cattle. Yeah, so again, we had uh, with four uh, junior championship grades and uh, with four uh, really good finals as well. And uh, three goalkeepers there, Megan Lonigan uh, from the Bally Bacon Grange, junior C champions, Aoife Lonigan from Gartner Ho, Glen Gould, your junior B champions, and then Sarah Gleeson, uh, Holy Cross, Bally Cal, Junior A uh, finalist. So three really good players. Megan is only, you know, she's still very young. And she was a big player for Bally Bacon uh, this year. And uh, I suppose made crucial saves throughout the year. Aoife Lanigan was, you know, one of Gurton Hoos' best players. Really solid throughout the whole championship. And, um, you know, had very good final and a very good replay. And Sarah Gleeson then was, you know, one of Holy Cross's top players as well. She made some real standout saves uh, throughout the championship and uh, I think three excellent goalkeepers there. Yeah, definitely. And now on to the full back line here we have, first off we have Trisha Ryan Tumivara, Grania O'Donnell then, Robert Gorman, Ryan Baru, Perry Davy, St. Seddard, Annie Slattery, Gordon Hall and Cleveland Lee Silent. Brilliant. Yeah, so we had Trisha Ryan from Toomey Barrett. I suppose Toom got to the Junior B2 final this year and, and Trisha was excellent for them all year in the full back line. Uh, unfortunately, she missed the final and she was a big loss for them in the final. But, uh, you know, a really good player, a really experienced player and a great servant, Toomey Vara. Grania O'Donnell then, um, you know, one of my Rovers best players this year. Uh, full back, a real rock there, solid at full back, uh, super clearances. And my Rovers, I suppose, we were lucky enough not to not to win a junior B championship this year. They came very close. Um, draw the first day, went to the replay. Um, Rosalina Garman then excellent for for a full back there all year for uh, Brian Bruce. Um, they were beaten by uh, McCarthy Burris in the junior A come to semi final this year. Um, you know they they were very good throughout the group stages and uh, just were pipped by by McCarthy then in the semi final. So Rosalina a big player for them at full back. Uh, Carrie Davy then with St. Risha's Feathered. Again, they reached a, a, a Junior A semi final. They were beaten by Holy Cross uh, in the semi final. Um, but they had a very good uh, campaign. They actually bet McCarthy Burris in the group stages. And uh, yeah, Carrie Davy, I suppose, one of the one of their standout performers. Uh, Quiv McCormick then from so Shri Phelan. Shri Phelan, their first year competing at a championship level. Uh, they were in the Junior C championship. They got to the final. And Quiva, you know, I think was their best player this year um, in, in the full back line. Uh, she was excellent for, for them. 
uh, throughout the year and uh, an exciting uh, uh, player for for uh, Schlieffelem. Yeah, sorry, and he started his full back there for Gartner Who. Um, a really good player, solid in defence there. She had Sophie Pembroke in front for at six, and the two of them together, I think, combined, make an excellent defence there for, for uh, Garton Who, and uh, I suppose very little got past any this year. Yeah, definitely. And now on to the half-back line. We have Maria Tyne and Tumi Vara, Amy Callan and Mike Harkey, Sophie Pembroke, Garton Who, Sarah Burke, Anna Carthy, Ava Dolan, My Rovers, and Tishy O'Halloran, Port Row. Yeah, another another really good lineup there from uh, uh, six different clubs. I suppose Maria Tynan there from Tumi Vara, a really good player for Tum, a half back line. Um, I think she's part of the management team that as well. Um, she they got to it again, they got to a junior B2 final, and I suppose Maria was one of their, their key players. Um, Amy Callan, I suppose McCarthy Burris had an excellent year, won the junior B last year and came up and won the junior A this year were really impressive all year uh, including the final and Amy Callan I suppose tip junior player top class player for them you know she operated I suppose in midfield or the half back line and uh, you know one of one of McCarthy's best players Sophie Pembroke then she got player in the match in the county final um, she's a key player centre back for, for, for Gurton Hu their captain, their leader, very little got past her all year. And she also, you know, stepped up and scored six frees in that county final. So definitely deserving of an all-star nominee. Sarah Burke then, like um, like Sophie, was centre-back for Aero Ganekart this year in the Junior B2 county final. And she also picked up player in a match that day. It was excellent. Has been brilliant for... Um, for uh, for Anna Carty all year and uh, really stood up uh, and was counted in, in the county final. Ava Dolan then I thought was my Rover's best player this year Um, was excellent in both the county final and the replay but has been excellent all year for them uh, at tip minor as well she's really lively player uh, great stamina, great fitness and you know a real workhorse as well so excellent player there Ava Dolan Tishy O'Haller then Tishy I suppose has years of experience uh, playing uh, for Portro, uh, centre back there for them, comes up and takes the freeze in the 45s as well. A big player for them, a key player, you know, Portro's best player this year as well. Um, um, so, deserve an all star nominee as well. Yeah, and um, now we've gone to the midfield here. We've another six great nominations here. We have Elaine Young, Tumi Vara, Kate Ralph, Mike Harkey, Anna Harding, Shannon Rovers. Ellie Franklin, Moyle Rovers, Heather Spillane, Feathered, and Linda Connors, Holy Cup, Valley Cattle. Yeah, so another six really good nominees. Uh, Elaine Young then was uh, midfield for Tumivara and as they uh, reached the Junior B2 final, so she's Tumivara's third nominee. Kate Ralph there was excellent then for McCarkey Burris, um, arguably McCarkey's best player this year, uh, middle of the field, massive county final from her. She's full of running, full of energy, um, a top, really good, exciting young player really, uh, to really look out for. Anna Hardy then was um, Chan Rover standout player on their B2 team. They reached uh, the county semi final. Uh, she put in serious performances all year for Chan Rover's second team. Uh, I think she actually came on as sub there last weekend in their intermediate county final. So, you know, she, her performances has earned her place on, on, the, on the intermediate team since. So, a really good player. Ellie Franklin then, I suppose, along with Ava Dolan was really good for uh, my Rovers this year in the middle of the field. I thought her work rate in, in, in the county final was excellent. And uh, she, I suppose, epitomised that. Heather Splandin would have been Feather's best player this year uh, in their run to the county semi-final, the Junior A Championship. Um, really good midfielder, also able to get a score. I think she scored five points from play against Laura in the quarter final. So a big team player and a, a crucial part of the St. Regis Feather team. And then Linda Connors was uh, Holy Cross Bally Cal's best player, really. She operated in the middle of the field or half back line. Again, they had a very good run to the, the junior A uh, final. Didn't go for them in the final. They, they were badly beaten by McCarthy Boris, but that's not to take away from the great year they had and uh, the great year that Linda had. Yeah, definitely. And now on to the half hour line, we have Sarah Corcoran, McCarthy, Sinead O'Carroll, Bally Bacon, Jennifer Heffernan, Anna Carthy. Anna Phelan, Sleeve Phelan, Grace Campion, Gordon Ho, and Ava Collins, My Rovers. Yeah, another really good six nominees. I'm just <laughs> scribbling down here as I go on because 
I lost the sheet with the ball on it. So uh Sarah uh, Copeland, sure look, Sarah is brilliant Camogie player. I think everyone in, in Tipperary uh knows about Sarah Cochran, really good player from McCarthy Boris, uh county minor this year as well. Um she scored seven points in the in the county final. Five of them were from play, but she's scoring all day if you know she's just scoring at ease. Uh, she's a lovely striker of the ball and a, a really good, exciting player and uh, one of and one of McCarkey's many talents. Uh, Sinead O'Carroll in Barry Bacon Grange's best player this year. Uh, she was excellent in the middle of the field. Um, so too was Alice Ryan, but I suppose Alice then got injured and missed the final. You know, Sinead really stepped up to to, to the plate. Um, so either midfield or, or the half forward line she played all year and uh, was really impressive. So... Uh, deserve a nominee, Jennifer Heffern, and then again part of the Aero Ganacarty team that that won the Junior B two County Final. And Jennifer, you know, she was very uh, active in all the games, scoring, and um, you know had a very good County Final as well. Especially in the second half, I thought she really came into her own in the in the County Final. Any feeling then for Shlee Phelan? Look, Shlee Phelan had a re- were really impressive this year, getting to a Junior C final, and they really uh, shoved it up to Belly Bacon in the final. And I thought Any Feeling was one of their standout performers. Uh, Ava Collins then for for My Rovers again, another one of My Rovers top players. Um, in the first game, in the drawn game, in the county final, I think she scored one four, and then in the replay she got four points. So she was a uh, Keep the scoreboard ticking over the whole time, whether it's from freeze or from play. A really lively uh, player. Started midfield sometimes and went into, usually ended up in the half forward line. So a really good player. That's Ava Collins. So yeah, so Grace was centre forward there for Garton Who. Um, I suppose she, where Sophie Pembroke probably led the defence, Grace really led the forward line. Um, Very strong physical player there at centre forward. Very athletic. I thought it was excellent in, uh, in both the drawing game and the replay. And, I suppose she's she's you know she was excellent all year for Garden Who and a handful for any defender. Yeah, and now we're on to the final line, the full forward line. And first up we have Emma O'Sullivan, Mike Harkey, then Lucy Heffernan, Anna Carkey, Alicia Carney, Mike Mike Harkey Boris, Rebecca Burke, Brian Baruse, Kaylee Gavrin, Clanarty Rossmore, and Claire Stakel and Holy Cross Valley Cattle. Yeah, so the last the last line uh, on the FBD Junior All Star nominees, uh, Emma Sullivan. So look, anyone that was at the Junior A, uh, County Final probably came away top about Emma Sullivan. She got player of the match. Um, you know, a dream County Final for her, scoring two six from play. But you know, she was doing it all year for for McCarkey, an excellent forward, really exciting talent, former tip minor as well. Um, Lucy Heffern and then, uh, very good inside forward for for Aero Gallicarty. She scored five points in the county semi-final win over Shan Rovers. And then in the final, low score and final, she popped up with a score, uh, one point as well. So look, really lively corner forward, very good player. And one of the best forwards, I suppose, in the Junior B2 Championship this year. Alicia Carney then, another player from McCarkey Boris. Um, she was everywhere in the forwards this year, in the half forward line, the full forward line. Uh, she was ver- had a very good county final. And uh, she, no, uh, one of... Uh, one of uh, McCarkey's uh, top forwards all year for them, so another deserving nominee. Uh, Rebecca Burke then from Brian Bruce. Like I said, Brian Bruce reached the Junior A County semi final. They had some very impressive performances all year, and uh, Rebecca was one of their one of their standout performers in, in the in the forwards. Kaylee Davern then is Clonty Rossmore's sole um, sole nominee on the Junior All Star team. She was their best player really for Clonty's uh, second team. Their 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 junior B team. They reached the county semi-final this year, which is very impressive because they'd only won the B2 final the year before. So they did a very good run this year and uh, Kaylee was their standout forward, standout performer, really. <coughs> and finally then, Claire Stakelin, um, a giant captain with Tip Juniors this year. And she's a big player, big club player, a key player for uh, Holy Cross Ballycall and the forwards. Um, she, you know, she's there when you need her to pop up for a, for a score and uh, a player that would come out around, around midfield too and help out. Um, so look, another another fine player, another fine forward there, and she tops off the All Star nominees. Yeah, uh, more another another <laughs> three, three, three great players. We had to put a letdown of us just fifteen, but it'll have to be done, I suppose. And just to round up, it's two for Valley Bacon, four for Gartnahu, three for Holy Cross Valley Cattle, four for My Rovers, two for Sleeve Salem, three for Tumi Varas, five my car my Karki Boris, 
one Shannon over two Finley is fettered, three Anna Carthy, two Brian Bruce, and one Slouty, and one for Port Row. Range of clubs there as well for the in the nominations there as well. A lot of clubs getting at least one nomination anyway. So yeah, a great spread of, of uh, clubs there. I suppose the junior you have four different um, championships, so it's a, a huge amount of players. I suppose um, you know, and and there's probably names there that didn't get nominees that maybe people argue should have. Um, uh, but look, there's thirty three players there, and I think they're all worthy. Uh nominees as well and you know they all had great years for their clubs and you know were part of very good teams um some from county champions some mid semi-finals um but look all all top class players and yeah the work i suppose now to to get that down to 15 won't be easy either but uh i suppose that's the, the that's the intrigue of it all yeah obviously not everyone will agree with every decision in the club, that's the, way, that's the fun of it, I suppose, at the end of the world. Yeah. And I suppose, look, Junior A this year, my, my Carty Boris were the winners with Holy Cross runners up. So that was a decent, that was a good championship as well, I thought. And my Carty, they were just, that was back to back, wasn't it for them? Junior B, then Junior A, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, and, and, and I wouldn't be surprised if they if they were really competitive and intermediate this year. They just have a really exciting a group of young players, I suppose, coming up. And uh, you know, I think they're really well managed there by Ray Ralph, and um, you know, then they have some, I suppose, some more experienced players as well. So it's a, it's a lovely mix. But uh, I suppose they have a group there that are used to winning all the way up along. They're very successful juveniles, and um, they're after winning junior B, they're after winning the junior A, and yeah, they'll, they'll fancy themselves in the intermediate championship next year. Yeah, well, the junior B this year, Gartner Hover, the winner, with beating my lovers in the final. Yeah, and I actually thought, you know, was that all the county adult county finals this year? And I suppose some of them are a bit cagey and a bit maybe low scoring and a bit, you know, nervy and stuff. But I thought the junior B county final was really, really entertaining, a really top class game. Uh, especially the first day, the drawn game. It was it was just really free flowing uh camogie. There was some serious amount of scores from play. And uh, I thought Gordon Hill and my rovers were really impressive and you know. They're after picking up a good few nominees this year between them, and I, I think that's it's, that's only right because uh, you know they had excellent championships. I thought. Well, the junior B two the winners were Era Og and Carty are in the final, and uh, so that was an exciting final as well. Yeah, I think yeah, I think Anna Carty is supposed to be knocking on the door for a few years. Uh, obviously this is their second team. They've a senior team as well, and you know when they all train together and players move up and down. Um, you know they're playing at a high level. And uh, yeah, I suppose Timmy Barrett, probably different, more kind of more older players, I suppose. Some that came out of retirement to come back and, and play when they set up a second team. So uh, it was, a, it was that was the kind of mix in the final. But, you know, t- again, Timmy Barrett, you know, did very well to get to a final. Um, and obviously, Ed Carthy to win it out, um, just had that bit more than two of them on the day. Just a bit, I suppose... Probably a stronger, um, more balanced team, but um, it was a it was a very entertaining final again. It was a very close final. It was was there was very little between it. And the junior C cut Bally Bake Grange with winning it, beating Steve Fellum in the final, in that one. Yeah, I suppose Bally Bake made history, um, winning their first ever adult championship. But this is, I suppose, a new championship, junior C championship. So you know, for kind of young clubs that maybe our, our entering an adult team for the first time. So it was an important grade this year. And uh, it was great to see uh, Schlieffel and Ballybacon contest the final. And it was a great crowd at it. You know, huge interest in Camogie in both these clubs. And huge work has gone into the juvenile in both clubs. And they're doing very well at juvenile level. And I suppose it's coming to fruition now at adult level. So uh, a great win for Ballybacon. And uh, yeah, delighted for them. Uh, look, looking back, I suppose, on the year, the whole it was a great year when the of the championship. Like there were some great matches throughout all the championships. And really you can see the standard in Kamogi is really coming up a lot over the last year. Then it's was the that you know, the it's see it really it is and some great games and it's great to look forward to for next year then as well. Yeah, look, I really enjoyed the club championship, I have to say. Um and look, uh I suppose we were disappointed the way the county finished with the juniors being beaten in the Iron Final and the seniors going out in the semi final. But it's grand then to have you know turn around and, and have the club a championship and get back into it again. And you know it's great. I love following the different teams and and seeing how they get on and seeing how county players get on and looking out for maybe potential county players. So 
look, ever since FBD came on board, I think it's really elevated the championship as well. It's great to have a big sponsor like FBD Insurance sponsoring all our adult championships and our minor championship, which is still ongoing at the minute. So um, I think, it, yeah, even you can see in the crowds and the attendance is really upped in the last couple of years. And, you know, I'd agree with you, the standard has come on as well. And, you know, the matches, I think they're more exciting, more physical. The, the, the standard has definitely improved and it's plenty of entertainment value there. Yeah, I noticed, like, you can see it as well, the players like, deserve great credit because, like, the commitment they have there to play all year and the heart to show a game, like, and some of the teams that just have this great attitude, like, you know, they just never give up. Like, you see it even in the two semi-finals and the final, like, the way it went, like, with, especially with Carlos Sarsfield and Barcelli, like, they both, like, the bit trouble at half-time in the semi-final, but they came back strong in the second half, and then, you know, Carlos took the lead against in their semi-final, and we're unlucky, maybe, but, just come up against, they're up against Drummond Inch, like, you know, who just know how to get over the line when it's put up to them. But, like, yeah, definitely, really, standard is very high now, as I thought this year now. Yeah, and, yeah, I'd have to agree with you. The heart and, and the determination is really stand out for me as well in all the, the grades this year. Um, Like, you see the, in, in the in the Junior B that went to a replay, you see, you know, neither team ever gave up, even Holy Cross, I suppose, and uh, McCarkey, that was probably the biggest gap of the finals, but um, still the Holy Cross fought right to the end. They brought on subs, some of the younger players really uh, stood up there in the second half. And you look, in all the games, I think all the players do the show great pride in their club, and I suppose they're their uh, credit to the to their to their clubs and to their management and to their families as well, how they all performed. Yeah. And just on actually just Drummond Inch and Shannon Over as well get into Munster final there. Even though I know they lost them both there to the again, but Drummond Shannon Over went to extra time and they were very unlucky. And also Drummond Inch there against Sarsfield. You know, maybe wasn't their best performance of the year, but you know, you could see it there in the last. They never gave up in that game either. Like even when they're behind, they kept fighting and just I suppose they had an off day, which you don't really expect from them. You know, really. But in fairness, like Sarsby did give give them a good game. Like and Sarsby did give them much room or anything on the ball. So, but so they'll be disappointed enough for that way. They just didn't have to perform on the day for them. Yeah, you feel sorry for them because you know, I definitely would agree. I thought they didn't perform on the day. I suppose I think they had the four week gap after the county final to the De La Salle match and I'm kind of looking back thinking they had four weeks really where they just had to focus on De La Salle and preparing for that and getting ready for that and then you know I suppose the, there was the high of winning that game and then suddenly you turn around and play Sarsfield's probably who you hadn't spoken about who you hadn't planned to you know and I just think probably then didn't maybe Wharton didn't get themselves up for it as much as they did for the De La Salle game and were just caught in the hop a bit and I thought Sarsfield's in fairness came out all the guns blazing and um you know they were after playing week on week off a lot of them playing even football and camogie so um they just seemed to be more tuned in and, and hit the ground running and you know drum were kind of chasing it the whole time so but like you said they never gave up and even i thought sarsfield probably left them in the game and drum had chances there at the end as well where they could have snuck it but um look it's, it's a very good sarsfield's team from cork um a lot of up and coming cork players that i'm sure we'll hear plenty of in the next couple of years in the red and white so, um, and then Shannon Rovers, yeah, look, new territory for them, I suppose, playing the Munster Championship uh, against a very experienced and seasoned Clan Morris team. And look, they were very, came very close to winning it. They were a point up with time up when Patrice Diggan got that free. So to bring it to extra time and then look, Clan Morris were the better side in extra time. But um, still, you know, it, it's great to have two teams, two Tiberi teams competing in two Munster finals. And uh, hopefully we'll see more of that next year. Next year, yeah. I suppose that's we finish it up there now. I thought for this one, and we'll be back soon with the winners of the All Stars, and we have that episode coming up soon. So thanks, look, and thank you for coming on here and with us, Jerlyn, and I'll catch you again soon.